In the previous lesson, we saw how to change course formats and we also chose a topics based format for the sake of this tutorial. In this lesson, we will see how to start building out the sections to reflect our own curriculum. I have kept a sample syllabus that you can refer to in the downloadable area of this section. The first thing to be done is to put the page in editing mode by clicking the turn editing on button you are already familiar with this by now then i will start with the first section that is currently called topic one my intention is for each of these topics to be customized as a section under which different types of learning material will then be aggregated i will click on the gear icon for topic one which takes me to the editing page for that section. Here, you can notice that the section name text box by default is read only and that is because this checkbox makes Moodle use the default section name. I want to change this and so I will disable this checkbox. I will then copy the section name from my syllabus like so and then paste the name into the text box. I can then use the summary text box to create a descriptive summary of this particular section to give learners a heads up of what to expect in this section. I will demonstrate this. It is to be noted that this text box is fully HTML capable. So with the click of a button, we can turn this into a bulleted list also. Moodle allows different types of editors and you can actually change according to your preference. We will see this in a lesson going ahead. Now that we have done with creating a custom section, I will not forget to click on the save changes button to return back to the course homepage. A great feature of Moodle is that all of these sections can be reordered with great ease. If you decide at a later point in time to move the sections around, all you have to do is grab the move handle and move the section to wherever else you may want, like I just did so now. When you are fully done, you will have to turn editing off and this will also save our course layout. In this lesson, we have seen how to start creating sections to divide the course learning content and activities into a logical or chronological sections. This is a rudimentary step, especially when you are structuring the course based on modules or topics. Before the next lesson, I will build out the course layout according to the syllabus I have and I will see you in the next video.